Now let's take a look at what happens if you do not add that additional right rudder. And let's look at it from an unusual perspective, the end of the runway. The pilot is using right rudder, as he should, to keep the airplane straight and on the center line during the takeoff run. But notice that as soon as the nose wheel comes off the runway, the airplane drifts very strongly to the left. Then it does a big dipsy doodle, and eventually it will end up back where it should be. A common mistake that pilots make on takeoff is failing to add enough additional right rudder when they raise the nose wheel, then correcting for the left turning tendency with aileron instead. Now normally it won't look this dramatic for two reasons. First, you normally watch airplanes taking off from the side and not from the rear. You're probably watching from the airport cafe. And that makes the dipsy doodle appear much less dramatic. Second, this demo pilot did not add any additional right rudder when he lifted the nose wheel. Just to illustrate the point. Most pilots do put in additional right rudder when they raise the nose wheel. They just don't add enough right rudder. But if on takeoff your instructor says, more right rudder, and you look out the window and can't even find the runway, this is what happened to you.